In the previous 10 videos, we covered all the basic functions and features of the WordPress administration area. Now we're going to dig in a little deeper and talk about how to modify the look of your WordPress site through the use of themes. WordPress uses themes to determine the overall design of a site, including the colors, layout, and typography. There are literally thousands of themes to choose from these days, and they run the entire gamut of both quality and price. We're currently using the default WordPress theme, called 2012. From the Themes subpanel in the Appearance menu, you can change the entire look and feel of your site by installing and activating a new theme. Your active theme is shown at the top of the screen, and just below is a list of installed themes that are available for use in your site. Click the Live Preview link below each available theme to see what your actual site would look like with the new theme applied. You can even interact with the preview to see how the theme displays posts, archives, and other page templates. In the left-hand pane of the Theme Customizer, you can edit and personalize the theme settings. Now, these settings will differ depending on what features the theme being previewed supports, so you may see more or fewer options than you see here. At the top, you can view more information about the theme, or customize your site's title and tagline and see those changes in real time. You can also customize the color scheme, change the header text color, background color, or link color. If your theme supports it, you can select a default layout with the primary content on the left, right, or in a single narrow column with no sidebar. Choose a different header image or remove it altogether. Change the background image or even upload your own. We'll talk about custom menus more in depth later, but here you can select a primary navigation menu which will appear across the top of your site. And last, you can choose a static page to serve as the home page for your site instead of the default list of your blog posts. For example, I've created a new page called Home, which I'd like to use as the front page of my site. It uses the Showcase page template, which is available in the 2011 theme. And it features some highlighted welcome text at the top of the page, a special sidebar that's unique to the home page, and a summary view of my blog articles. I've also created a new blank page simply called Blog, which I'll use to display my posts. As you can see, all of my blog articles have been moved to the blog page, and my new home page is now the front page of the site. To save these settings and activate the theme all in one step, just click the button at the top of the panel. To install a new theme, click the Install Themes tab at the top of the page. In this panel, you can search thousands of free themes from the WordPress.org theme directory and even filter results based on specific colors or other features. You can also view Featured, Newest, or the most recently updated themes available from the WordPress theme directory. A theme is actually a bundle of files that must first be uploaded to a directory within your WordPress installation on your web server. If you've purchased a theme from a theme developer, you can use the built-in upload function to install the .zip archive containing the new theme files. WordPress will automatically upload the theme files to the correct location on your web server. Once a theme has been uploaded, you can customize and preview what your site will look like when the new theme is activated. If you like what you see, save and activate the theme with a single click. Most premium themes these days also include additional theme options panels, which enable you to configure and further customize the various features of your new theme. 
The 2012 theme that's installed by default in WordPress 3.5 is actually pretty flexible and can be easily customized via the theme customizer or its own header and background panels. You can upload a custom header image from your computer, then choose to hide or show the header text at the top of the site. And you can choose a custom color for the header text. Save your changes and then visit your site to see how it looks. Finally, let's upload a custom background image to create a subtle gradient at the top of our site. Again, I'll upload the image file from my desktop and then accept the default settings, which will repeat this image from the left horizontally across the top of the page and ensure that it will scroll along with our content. For now, I'll just accept the default background color. As you can see, these tools make it really easy to personalize your WordPress site and make it completely unique. In the next video, we'll talk about how to use widgets to add and remove blocks of content from the sidebar of your site.